Hello, welcome to Souls Intersect. This is a love reading for air signs for June 2018. It can be used for sun, moon, or rising signs. Also, keep in mind though that all four readings for all four elements could possibly be used by anyone because most of us have all of the elements in our birth charts. I've also developed a written version of free monthly readings and it's on the blog page of my website. The address is soulsintersect.weebly.com slash free readings. So you can check those out too for another version of a general reading. Okay, so regarding love, I'm seeing the High Priestess at the center and I sense that there's something revolving around learning. So some of you may have met someone in a learning environment at a university, at school, or any other kind of educational setting, even a yoga class, something like that. It could also be, for, for those of you already in a relationship, it's, it's possible that th this is a learning period for the relationship. For already established established relationships, I feel like there's been uh, some conflict and that a way to come to terms with that has been to accept this as a learning moment. And it feels like the two of you are on the same page in that sense, though I sense that you're a little bit apprehensive about this. I see you as the Page of Swords and I feel like you don't feel like you have very solid footing regarding this. It's, it's some kind of new arrangement um, for already established relationships. I also feel like for those of you who've begun something new or maybe just met someone new, that there's also this lack of confidence, this feeling of uncertainty or not being very clear on intentions or, or what's to come, but, and, and also for newer relationships, rather than conflict, it's feeling a little bit more like competition, like you're feeling like this person, this new person, this King of Wands character, who is, for some of you, a new object of your affection. There's a sense that that may be the case for others, probably in this in this learning environment or where you met this person. And a sense that you you may not have feel like you're confident in this person's feelings for you. And there's a concern that this person may have other admirers as well and and you're feeling a, a bit insecure about that. So for those of you embarking on a new relationship, I, I feel like some kind of face-to-face -face interaction is necessary. And it feels like it could be done based on whatever this educational environment is. So in other words, you could approach this person about something that you're doing together in a classroom, in a, in a yoga class, um, wherever this is. It, it might not be that literally educational too. It could be a work environment where, but it does feel like there's a new, some sort of new approach or new program or new, some kind of something new that involves learning. Either way, it feels like this person could be approached um, based on something other than your feelings, so something more practical, and that I, I get the sense that you'll get to know this person a little bit more, and you may even decide that you're not as interested. Um, that's not a prediction, it's just the idea is that this, this FaceTime that you'll have with this person will allow you to get to know them better. So that could lead to more, or it could lead to you deciding that you don't want more, but I think that it could help you either get on the same page or just get to know the person better, get to a new understanding about it. 
to learn more about the person. And, and I think that for some of you, that's where the, the learning comes in. Also, if there's any chaos around or competition or the sense that you're not getting quality one on one time with this person, you may also, especially if you're an intuitive person, you may not have as easy a time getting to know them in that environment. And so more one on one time could help with that. And then uh, back to those of you who are in established relationships, if that speaks to you that there's been some conflict and that there's some kind of new approach that you're not too certain of, I sense that the other person involved uh, also feels like this King of Wands character is possibly also not on the same page either, or, or is actually maybe more on the same page with you then you realize my sense about it is that there's something was agreed upon some kind of compromise was reached and you both believed that you were in agreement but neither of you were and that actually the alternative might be something that you do agree upon because it feels like you are on the same page but maybe not about whatever this new approach is or this new perspective it could be a literal learning thing like you or um it could be like you've begun therapy together or it could just be a new way of looking at things or some kind of new project that you're embarking up upon. But it does feel like that that decision was made based on some conflict and wanting to resolve that conflict. And I think that this person is possibly as uncertain as you about it. And so I think that also for you, some time face to face could help you realize that you possibly should discard this other idea and come to a new understanding that you would both be on the same page about. All right, I'm going to wrap this up here. Do check out the blog. Also, if you're interested in a private reading, feel free to email me at soulsintersect at gmail.com. Thank you.